So you've decided to either list your home for sale or possibly get into the market by buying a home. And you've been told the first thing you need to do is talk to a realtor. But there are a lot of realtors out there. And when you meet with them, how do you know you're meeting with someone that's experienced or someone that's just giving you a line of BS? It's The Real Estate Show. Welcome to The Real Estate Show. My name is Rick Naples. I am the owner broker of Zone Realty LLC, You Zone Your Home, located in the state of Connecticut in the town of Plainville. Now, as I said at the beginning of the show, uh, there are a lot of realtors out there. There are a lot of people that go to school and learn the ins and outs of real estate, get a license, and go to work for a brokership. Now, some of these people have been out there for a long time. Others are brand new to the market. Some come from backgrounds which gives them lots of experience in different types of things related to real estate. And others, well, they decided to get into real estate for whatever their personal reasons might be. Now you're looking to interview or hire someone who is going to be your guide, who is going to be your trusted source to get you through a real estate transaction. So let's talk to a seller. You've decided you're in a position where you need to put your home on the market. You want to sell your home. Perhaps you're scaling up, maybe you're scaling down, whatever the reason might be. And you've decided that you really don't want the hassle of doing it yourself. You're going to hire a real estate firm and a realtor to list your home, put it on the MLS, market it, get you buyers and offers and so on and so forth. So you set up a couple of appointments. Now let me set the table as to what happens here. You've called an agency of your choice and they've sent out to you uh, a realtor, a licensed individual who can market real estate. This individual comes out and meets with you at your home and introduces themselves, maybe talks a little bit about who they are and who their company is and wants to take a tour of the home to see what's what, talk to you about your reasoning behind putting the home on the market. And then they're going to get into doing a professional presentation. And that presentation is pretty standard. I mean, they're going to look at comparable sales that are out there in the market, like your house, and they're going to recommend a pricing structure or where you should price your house on the market. And if you feel that you are getting enough information and that the person that's presenting it to you is the person you want to work with, you'll agree to sign a listing contract. That listing contract is going to be thoroughly explained to you as to what you're signing. In other words, how the realtor might be compensated, what they're going to do, and what their responsibilities are to you, and what your responsibilities are to them. Now, sometimes you'll have a person that will come out, a realtor, and before they even get into all of that, they're going to talk about themselves. I have done this, I have done that, I have sold this many houses. Let me tell you about the time. We did this, we did that, our company is this. And they give you not necessarily things that are false facts, but they give you information to try to impress upon you how great they are, how great their company is, and why you should go with them as opposed to someone else. Now, are they telling you truths? Or are they just giving you standard lines of BS? I mean, how do you know? Perhaps this person is more self-centered to talk about themselves and their accomplishments than maybe they are to help you accomplish what you want to accomplish. 
This is a very interesting business. It is a business that's based on trust. You are picking an individual that is going to be handling the biggest asset you have in your life, your home. There's a lot of different things that come into play, both statistically and figuring out how to put the home on the market and what price range to put it in and how to go about marketing it and to whom, and the individual that's going to handle that deal for you. You see, it's not only coming out to your home and having you list your home with their agency. You're hiring that realtor. You want to know, is that realtor going to be able to follow through the whole real estate transaction? Or are they just going to show up, get you to sign a contract, and then you never hear from them again? Are you a number and no longer an individual? Is your house now a product as opposed to being your home? Is this person looking to make money on your hard-earned equity? Or are they actually generally interested in helping you accomplish the idea of getting your home sold and perhaps even helping you on the other side finding some place to go? There's a lot of confusion out there. Usually you'll find that you find the realtor who spends time getting to know you and getting to know what you're looking to accomplish is usually the one that you'll feel more comfortable with. You see, sometimes you'll get a brand new realtor, and that realtor doesn't really have a lot of accolades for themselves to talk about. So they may promote their company on how long the company has been in business, and how many agents the company has, and how many sales the company has done. But you know, all that's wonderful and great and fantastic. I mean, I've been a broker, for a long time, I've been a licensed realtor for a long time. You know, I have the wall full of certificates and plaques, and I have the awards and the accomplishments and all that kind of stuff. And I display them in my office because I'm proud of them. But I don't necessarily taunt them. I don't necessarily shove them in people's faces saying, here's why you should hire me because I am so great. Well, I am good at what I do, but, but again... You need to make that decision. You need to take the time to make sure that the person or persons that you're going to work with are going to be the trusted individual to accomplish the job. It's similar to when you're looking to hire a contractor to do work for you. You know, it starts with someone coming out to the home and taking a look at what the situation is. Perhaps they'll give you a quote right on the spot as to what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. You discuss all the ins and outs, and then they may present you with a contract which explicitly explains what it is they're going to do. They'll take a deposit, they'll give you an assignment date, they come out and they begin their construction. And before that even begins, you've gotten a couple of other quotes, right? Before you decide to work with someone, you're looking at, you know, what's the pricing, what's this going to cost me, how long is it going to take? and so on and so forth. It isn't going to have the features and the benefits that you're looking for. It could also be something as simple as you need something fixed around the house and you're going to hire somebody to come fix around the house. Now a lot of times you'll jump on the internet and you'll research the person or the company and try to find out about them. Perhaps see if there's any negativity out there about them. Um, I've had people say to me, they look me up on my Facebook page just to see who I am as a person. Um, you know, that's a good thing. Again, you're going to be hiring somebody that you're going to be putting a lot of trust in. It's a difficult decision, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. I'm going to come back in a couple of minutes, and I'm going to talk about if you're looking to get into this crazy real estate market, how do you pick the realtor that's going to help you find your next home. Hey, Rick Naples for Zone Realty. As I was saying, are realtors a trusted source? There are so many realtors that are out there. I mean, 
who can you trust? At last count, there was something like 22,000 plus licensed realtors. You'll want to work with someone that you feel you can have confidence in. You'll have questions. You'll want to learn. You want to understand how this process works. After all, your home is your biggest asset. Or if you're going to buy a home, it's the biggest asset you'll probably ever own. Be sure the realtor you're going to work with is one you can trust and have confidence in. I'm Rick Naples, Zone Realty, LLC, licensed in Connecticut, 860-385-2218. Just like I said earlier, when you're interviewing realtors to help you list and sell your home, you're also going to be working with a realtor when it comes to buying a home. Now, there's a lot of different questions you should ask. Um, I highly recommend that you sit with a few realtors and you ask those questions. Uh, I provide a, a consulting service which allows people to come in and meet with me and talk about what their situation is and learn a little bit about the market and what they may have to go through in order to buy a home. It's not as simple as just looking at the nice pictures and the information and the data that's on the internet. There are a lot of websites out there where you can look at lots of different homes. You can look at what the homes feature and you know what they have and where they're located. You can research all kinds of things about the area and so on and so forth. That's just one small step. You need to actually get out there and start looking at the homes. And before you can even go out there and look at a home, you have to make sure you're prepared to buy a home. And there are steps that you need to go through in order to do that. It's really important that you take the time to learn what the procedure is. There's a lot of downfalls. There's a lot of challenges. There's a lot of you know, unexpected things that can happen. So you want to hire someone that you can put your trust in that's going to help you through the whole process from beginning to end. Now, I want to be real here. Whether you hire a realtor to purchase a home with or to sell your home with, the realtor is doing a job. Their job is to help you accomplish what you're looking to accomplish. And they do this in such a way where they're hopeful that everything's going to work out. Because you see, realtors are still in that situation where they're not compensated for their work and everything that they do unless the transaction is successful. In other words, unless you get to a closing and properties have exchanged hands, then they'll get what they earn. During all the time before that, they do a lot of work both up front with you and behind the scenes, all for that goal of helping the deal get to the end and close so that they can make earnings. You know, you wake up every single morning and you go to work. And you don't go to work for free. Um, you go to work for a negotiated salary or an hourly wage, correct? You work, you do your job, and at the end of the week or bi-weekly or monthly or whatever, however it's set up, you get paid for your efforts. And that pay is kind of guaranteed. You show up, you do the job, you get paid. This is what you've been hired for. Realtors work under the guide of they show up, they do the job, maybe they'll get paid because there's a lot of different things that can go wrong. There could be situations where an agreement falls apart or an offer isn't accepted or something last minute changes things. So they do a lot of work without the guarantee of being paid. Now our industry is going through some changes, and I'll know more about that as the months pass. There's some things going on uh, nationally as well as locally that may change the way realtors present themselves or how they structure 
um, the way that they are going to be compensated. We'll worry about that when we get to there, and I'll explain a lot of that on the next real estate show or subsequent real estate shows when we get to that point. But the purpose of this show is to talk about how important it is to talk to a realtor and develop that trust that you feel this is going to be the person or the agency that I feel is going to accomplish the job that I need done. So why not just sell your home on your own? I mean, you can buy a home by looking on the internet. Can't be all that hard to do. I mean, it's just a little paperwork, right? Well, it is a big deal. A real estate transaction is just not something you do every day. It's one of those things that if you make a mistake, it could end up very costly. Your best source of action would be to hire the expert, someone with the experience and the licensing to do the job. This has been Rick Naples, licensed in Connecticut Realtor, 860-385-2218, Zone Realty. There's a lot of trust. There's a lot of hope. There's a lot of confidence that you need to extend to either someone you know. Uh, it could be a relative of yours that's in the real estate business. It could be someone that you've known for years that's in the real estate business. Or it can be someone relatively new, someone you've never met before. You're going to extend to this person a lot of as I said, trust, to do the job that needs to be done. You're also going to be talking to this person and perhaps telling them things that you don't normally share with other people. I had a, a client one time said to me that they felt very awkward talking to a mortgage officer because the mortgage officer was asking them questions that they felt were very personal. They were brought up that you didn't talk about income, you didn't talk about your debts, you didn't talk about what you made, whatever, that was impolite. And talking to the mortgage officer, they found it difficult to answer those questions of how much they make, what their salary is, what their debt load is, and so on and so forth. It's the same thing when you're going to talk to a realtor. There are some things that perhaps you feel awkward or apprehensious about talking to the realtor. You're going to let this person inside. You're going to let this person into your circle. You're going to let this person or agency know things that, like I said, maybe you don't share with the general public. You're also going to have a lot of questions. And questions sometimes, well, sometimes we're a little embarrassed about our ignorance when it comes to certain things. If we don't understand something or, you know, we want to ask a question, but we're a little bit shy about asking that question. One of the great things about realtors is they've heard a lot, especially if they've been around a while. They have answers for you. They'll be the first ones to say, and here's a good benchmark as to knowing whether or not the realtor you're going to work with is one you want to work with, is when you ask them a question, and instead of giving you a line or making up something or telling you what you want to hear, they may look you straight in the eye and say, you know, I've never had that question asked before. I do not know. Let me find out the information so that I can give you the proper answer. They may also say to you, you know, that's a question that is not within the realm of my licensing. That's a fancy way of saying that perhaps it's a legal issue or perhaps it's a construction issue or structural issue or something like that. That the realtor is not licensed or expertise in, in order to advise you. So they may refer you to an attorney or to someone that's within that specific field. Back a few years ago, it was not uncommon for a licensed realtor to also be a mortgage officer, where they would put together the mortgage package for you, as well as putting together the real estate sale for you. 
And those things separated because they became very specialized. Mortgage officers deal with the finances. They deal with helping you secure and put together the mortgage to purchase the home you want to buy. The realtor, on the other hand, helps you find that home, structures the offer to the seller, and helps you walk through the transaction. Things like home inspections and appraisals and things that maybe the mortgage company may need and so on and so forth. And helps you get to the closing. There are a lot of steps that are involved. Now, let's talk about doing everything on your own. Why do you need a realtor? I've done the research. I can find a home on the websites that are out there. I can pick up the phone and I can call the seller of the property and I can negotiate directly. And a seller may say, why do I need a realtor? I can put my house on, in a newspaper. I can put my house online. I can post my house on Facebook. I can take phone calls and talk to people that might be interested in buying my house. I can do the sale on my own. Well, you can wire your house on your own. You can go to court on your own. You may be talented enough to build a deck on your house on your own. But is it the right thing for you? Wouldn't it be better to have somebody that's done it several times, that has the expertise and background to know how to go through the whole transaction? There's also a concept for both the buyer and the seller that I call arm's length distance. You know, sometimes when you're in a face-to-face -face negotiation with someone, and you're not an expert on negotiating. Although I've had a lot of mothers out there tell me they're experts on negotiating because they have to do it with their kids every day. But when you're dealing with businesses, sometimes people are uncomfortable. You know, perhaps the seller wants this or needs that. Perhaps the buyer would like the seller to do this or do that. And it's an uncomfortable situation to be talking to each other directly. They need an expert in between to be the connection for them to work through, to be able to make their proposals and their offers, that arm's length distance. They're still very involved because they're making the decisions, but they have that expert to help them with the guidance of going through that particular procedure. The real estate transaction is more than just paperwork. There's a lot of ins and outs and ups and downs and different things that need to be done. So when you're looking to either sell or buy a home, you might want to consider talking to realtors. The realtor that you talk to needs to be your confidant, the person or the agency you're going to put your trust in to help you accomplish your real estate goal. My name is Rick Naples, and this has been The Real Estate Show. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Sometimes life just happens. Don't worry. Farmington Motorsports will get you back on the road and at a fair price. From towing to tires, emissions to transmissions. Our ASC certified techs do it all. Farmington Motorsports is a family-run business. We're a Napa Auto Center and AAA approved. We work on all makes and models from preventative maintenance to major repairs. And every repair is backed by our two-year, 24,000-mile nationwide warranty. When life happens to you, don't worry. Farmington Motorsports. Follow us on Instagram at nutmeg.tv.